hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. No problem. No problem, thank you very much. You're welcome, mate. So Eddie Earn watches Dillian Eddie Earn watches Dillian White against Joshua three times a day. So that's ninety minutes out of his day watching a fight from five years ago and he's had to change his pants because it build up. What a load of rubbish. His nose just keeps growing and growing and growing. And as for Joshua, oh, I want Dillian White next. <laughs> we didn't want to pay him last summer, did you? Or he didn't want to fight you, it's one or other, innit? They just want to prolong it so they don't have to get in ring with Tyson Fury, do they, really? Because they don't want to be the guy that gets you humiliated by the Gypsy King. That's how it looks to me, anyway. But, onwards and upwards. So, onwards and upwards. So, it's time to do the uh, Weapon of the Week. That is next. So, get ready, because we know what this is going to be, don't we? Weapon of the Week! <laughs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, yeah? and still. You know that, don't you? Right. Right then, you know what time it is, don't you? Hey? You know what time it is? It's that time again. It's Weapon of the Week! <laughs> weapon of the Week! And this week's Weapon of the Week... Oops. Does help if you take handbrake off. Whatever happens to just handbrakes where you go like that. Eh? You mind all this lift your foot up and all that crap. Right. This week's Weapon of the Week... Is... Dillian White. <laughs> you can't put Dillian White, he's a bad man, he's a yardie. You come get you, Porky. You come get ya, come kidnap ya. You kidnap your bruv, bruv, kidnap ya. Listen, Dillian White is weapon of the week for the simple reason. I've just seen him on some FaceTime thing with uh, Big Walt. And he says, who, who do you want next? And he's like, Anthony Joshua. <laughs> hey? Anthony Joshua he wants next. Nine months ago, I didn't want him, did he? He had to go to New York and fight Ruiz. So, now all of a sudden, he wants Anthony Joshua. I don't get that. You had your chance to fight Anthony Joshua in front of 90,000 people. 
for four belts for the heavyweight championship of the world it's the greatest title in the whole world babe and what did you do you knocked it back to fight who <laughs> who did you fight come on let's get with program now all of a sudden they're trying to swerve fury aren't they about the looks of it but ah, there's that much spinning boxing in there it's unbelievable isn't it unbelievable so Dillian White chosen by me weapon of the week so not a lot I can do uh, it was a close one between you and Coogan but I've decided that Dillian White after watching that you're my weapon at week Dillian you're famous now so it's only banter it's only banter no it ain't banter it's me saying you're a weapon that's it I'm not gonna say all that ban banter stuff no it's weapon behavior you don't knock you don't knock Joshua fight back at Wembley and then coming around saying you want him next what's all that about what's all that about I don't get that I just don't get it I don't know I don't, I don't get who's advising him I don't know if Eddie Hearn's pulling the strings behind the scenes or what we don't know can Dillian White fight yeah of course he can fight WBC number one so it's all up in air isn't it they're gonna try and they're gonna try and damage Tyson aren't they now with all this uh, this jug ban and all this what they're pushing for and I'm not even gonna get into it because there's that many intangibles and that many people have got different agendas so why would they want, want it to go on about something that happened five years ago the man's just been in isolation hasn't he I'm not his biggest fan, but you got to give him respect where his respect's due. He bladdered Wilder, didn't he? But Dillian White's my helmet at week for saying, yeah, I want Joshua next. It's like the kid that cried wolf, in it? So am I off the Dillian White hype train? Too right, I am. He turned up in Saudi looking like, in Saudi looking like Billy Bunter. That's not how professional athletes should carry on. So... Gillian White weapon at week. Sorry, but no, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. Nobody dare put. Nobody dare say a word about Gillian White because they're strutting around. We all, we all big South London team, aren't they? At press conferences, nobody dare say boo. All these YouTubers hanging out the back of them. Weapon behaviour. Massive weapon behaviour. I want Joshua next. I nearly collapsed, choking on me coffee. What's this here in front here? Who's been in here? And dumbbells. Jesus. What's that here? Oh, best hazards on. <laughs> So, weapon behaviour from Dylan White wants Joshua next. So if Eddie Hearn is trying to push that, he's got his plan B, hasn't he? He's got his typical, he's got his accountant's hat on, hasn't he? He's got his accountant's hat on. That's what's going on there. We know that, don't we? So, it's just how it's going, isn't it? It's how boxing's going. So... I'm just going to go up and uh, see if my electric scooter's turned up. I'm going to have to have something to amuse myself, aren't I? Small things amuse small minds. But, look, this is how I look at it, right? Dylan White can fight, he's got a fantastic left hook, but I think he might have just missed the boat for Joshua. What if Povetkin beats him? Does he seriously think that the Joshua fight is still going to be there? No. Does he beat Joshua? I think it's a 50-50. I think Joshua's gun shy. I don't think Dylan were keen to take it before unless he were 100%. If he is 100% and Joshua's 100%, it's just a 50-50. Depends how much confidence Joshua gets in the next few months, but... It's not a 70-30 like everybody was saying before Ruiz did Joshua. It's now a 50-50 fight. So maybe Dillian thinks the timing's right, but you had your chance last summer. 
didn't want to know. I didn't want to know. So I have a problem with that. You know, it would have been a good fight that at Wembley, wouldn't it? Gillian against Joshua. So that's my weapon of the week. If you want to go on to uh, the Eddie Hearn FaceTime Dillian White thing on IFL, you will see Eddie Hearn coming out with so much bull, it's unbelievable. I love the first fight, Dillian! I watch it three times a day! So Eddie Hearn actually finds time to watch AJ versus White 1. Three times a day. How many rounds did it go? So he's going to take 90 minutes out of his day to watch Dillian White lose in a fight against Joshua. Do you honestly think we're all going to believe that? I don't believe that. I don't believe that for one minute. I don't believe it for one minute. At all. So, this is my opinion. I do not believe it. So, I don't believe Eddie Hearn watches Dillian White at all in his day. He ain't got time to, to take 90 minutes out of his day to watch Joshua against Dillian White. His words, not mine. He's just buttering Dillian White up in it to keep him on side. Do you know what I mean? Teasing him. Everybody knows behind the scenes the gagging for Fury fight. Gagging before Joshua gets beat. Do you think they're going to put Joshua in with Dillian White next? Dillian beats Povetkin and Joshua beats Pula. It'd be suicide, wouldn't it? Because they wouldn't have a safety net unless they give him a, a rematch clause. So Joshua had a rematch if he lost, which he probably will want. It's a mess in it. They've just all got their own agendas. Boxing's the only sport where you can sit there in an office, and I've seen it many times. Many times. We'll fight him next. Let's see if we can get that clear for a title fight. What? Oh, we're not going to fight him, that's an hard one, we'll fight him. Can you imagine uh, Klopp saying, do you know what, we're going to play Crystal Palace today, because we don't fancy Watford again, they're our bogey team. Can you imagine that, eh? Could you imagine Champions League people saying, no, we're not going to play him, it's an hard game, we'll play them, that's an easy one. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, starting to fucking get on my tits now. Starting to get on my nerves. Yeah. So, alright. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. I'm gonna blast on my scooter now. Dillian White, weapon of the week. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>